good uh, and don't bring on overhead. Overhead is, uh, you know, profit is the money you keep, right? Overhead is the killer of profit. So it's like, you really got to be smart. Every decision you make, really work it out. And I know we want stuff, but if you don't need stuff, save your money. Because I'll tell you, there's nothing that reduces anxiety better than a savings account. Yeah. You know, the savings account Mm -hmm. is your ticket to say no to projects. It's the freedom of choice with who you work with. How you spend your time is your savings account because you make very different decisions when you have $10 in your checking account than if you have 10,000, right? Both in like, what am I going to do today? Well, I got to get to work. (laughs) You know what I mean? What am I going to do today? (laughs) I'm going to, I'm going to take a nice jog. I'm going to pet my dog a little extra. And they, you know, they say money doesn't buy happiness, but it does afford you the life that you've worked hard for if you worked hard for it. So I would just say to the listeners, you know, you can't over plan and plan linearly. Don't plan that you're going to win the lottery plan that you'll never get a Grammy and you'll never have a platinum record because I've never had a Grammy or a platinum record. And I do really well. I have this business. I hold on to it. It's a white knuckle ride, but I'm doing well and you can do well too. There's a huge world out there listener of opportunities and unopened sales leads and you have to create systems to do it and there's places like the six figure uh, home studio podcast that are yeah that didn't exist when i was coming up and now totally. we have these file great, pass is now a sponsor of the show and oh uh, that's awesome so 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 there are resources you have and think about 2030s think about building your business with integrity and, and authenticity so that it will last until you're ready to retire. I know that's hard for 21 year olds, but, um, that's sort of the wisdom of the decades is that at 30, I was starting to come into my own and at 40, I can buy drinks. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) I can buy the drinks for everybody. At 40, I'm not afraid of being like, I got this one. And that's what happens as you grow, you know, and all things in time, you can't rush it. And if you're a martial arts person, I'm, I'm a huge martial arts person. There's a, a phrase in jujitsu they always use and that you can't lie to the mat. The mat doesn't care what color you are, doesn't care what your gender is. The mat only cares about your blood and your sweat, how much time you've spent with it. And it will always give you back what you put into it. And that's also the music business as far as being an independent like business owner. I leave the major labels out of this whole thing and like working with publishing companies, like leave it all out just you servicing clients, you will always get back what you put into it and the quality of the product that you give of yourself. Um, just don't overgive to the fact that you run yourself ragged and burn out. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a time and place for for that, right? Like at the beginning, you need to give even more, Yeah, especially when you're building up your reputation and your portfolio. Yeah. Uh, but as you become established, you know, you kind of have to realize where to set those boundaries and and, it, and it's, it's hard for me as like a perfectionist to, to know where that is always because I'm also a people pleaser and I love helping people. Yeah. And so it's like, but I have a family, you know what I mean? So I got to, you yeah. know, that's numero uno. So well, it's the like- the best way I can give you the is that I will tell people that my prices are based on a number of work hours and then it's explained up front. Now, if you're hiring me to produce a song, I'm going to fudge these work hours in your favor always. But if it's a very specific budget- that is under what I'm worth and I want to work with someone, I'm going to expressly tell them it's a number of work hours that are attached to this. And I will throw in a few extra, but let's say this budget only covers 16 work hours. That's two full days of work. Past that, I'm more than happy to keep working on your project, but you will need to increase the budget, right? So now if it's a recall, if it's like more reverb, that's not a problem. But if it's like, hey, will you completely change everything, Uh, then you're going to have to put some more budget hours in. And you can't spring that on someone later. You have to tell them up front, this is how I work. So don't be afraid to set boundaries. Don't be afraid to explain people how you like to work because people generally are desperate and afraid. And that's why they don't stand up, not stand up for themselves, but don't express the ideal situation that works for their business. They're afraid, they're desperate, they need the money. Yeah. So they're afraid to value themselves. But the reality is, is the more you value themselves, the more your client will value you and they'll work within the way you work and you'll lose some clients, but those clients were probably problem clients. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that, that the freedom of choice kind of thing you were, you were men- mentioning also. Like when you have more clients, you can, or, or when you're able to kind of decide, 
you know what this 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 client this project is not that important to me if they're not willing to go by my my rules then you've 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 gained because you have enough in the pipeline and yeah yeah and and trust me there's always another client so just keep and your marketing hot because the more marketing you have the better you'll be I mean, I promise that's where the leads, you have to have sales leads generation and it's got to be an ongoing passive thing. Some people will use TikTok, Instagram, whatever you do, Google AdWords. If there's no system in place, you're dead in the water. So there has to be multiple systems in place and it's at our fingertips. So use the methods that are existing, follow the trends of where the the heat is right now. Like for me, TikTok is where everybody's at right now. If I was scouting talent, it'd be on TikTok. So- you know, you have to know where and you have to stay current and you have to ride those ride those tides. So, um, all right. And I will uh, actually have to leave you here because I have a session in five minutes. All right. Well, uh, Dr. Ford, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. It thank you so you. much. And I will uh, talk to you soon and have a wonderful day. And thank you to all the listeners who, t- who came in for Ben's podcast. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Secret Sonics. I hope you enjoyed this conversation as much as I did. If you've been digging the show, it would be awesome if you could share this episode or your favorite episode with a friend or two, and or leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your podcatcher of choice. That's it for now. Have a great week. Take care and dig in. See you soon. Bye-bye.